This video was made possible by Skillshare. Learn for free for two months by being one of the first 500 to sign up at skl.sh hi21. If you're from one of those countries that doesn't mind their own damn business, which is almost all of them, there are almost certainly people spying for and against your country. They live among us, which might be concerning. But in the grand scheme of things, we have to live among people who think liking pineapple on pizza is a personality. Simple espionage agents are far from the worst people out there. By one estimate, there are as many as 100,000 foreign spies in the US, while you know the US, in following the everyone and everything is trying to kill us doctrine, probably has just as many of its own overseas. Pretty much everyone's spying on everyone, even allies spy on allies. Sometimes the US gets confused and spies on itself. Now, while spies are doing their spy things, they need their bosses to be able to tell them which spy things to do without the country they're in knowing that they're doing spy things. All the communication techniques that you've probably seen in spy movies have some roots in reality, but one of the most interesting methods used is that of the number station. Number stations are interesting because they are fully out in the open. Countries make zero attempt to hide these. What these are are just shortwave radio stations that can be heard by anyone with a radio, including you. Shortwave radio can be picked up thousands of miles away from its transmitter, so these can be heard over whole continents or further. At exact schedules, these frequencies will start broadcasting. Typically, they'll start with an identifier, often a word, phrase, number, sequence, or song, then they'll just start listing numbers. Take a listen to this one. That's a British number station that broadcasted from a Royal Air Force base on Cyprus. It's probably saying something like, please find us some new tiny terrible rocks that we can rule our Britannia all over. Five times a day at 12, 1, 2, 3, and 4 UTC, plus one extra time at 8 p.m. on Mondays, this station would turn on and broadcast exactly this, just with different numbers each time. Now, generally the first principle of sending secret messages is not to broadcast them at set times through a method that literally anyone can hear, but these number stations embrace the idea of hiding in plain sight. It's believed that these numbers are decrypted using a one-time pad, which makes them literally 100% secure. It is truly impossible for them to be cracked. Let me explain. With one-time pad encryption, both the person sending and receiving the message must have the same set of numbers. It's assumed that spies are sent out with one-time pads to correspond to each future broadcast at the beginning of their mission. It really doesn't matter what those numbers are as long as they're truly random. How you get a truly random sequence of numbers is a story for another time though. So as an example, here's a sequence of 16 random numbers that would act as a one-time pad. Now here's the sequence of numbers that the number station would broadcast. You then take both sets of numbers and separate them out into sets of two and subtract the values from the one-time pad numbers from the sent numbers. So 53 minus 34 equals 19, 91 minus 70 equals 21, 90 minus 88 equals 2, and so on and so forth. You'll then get the numbers 19, 21, 2, 20, 15, 8, 1, and 9. Of course, the 19th letter in the alphabet is S, the 21st is U, the 2nd is B, and you keep matching these numbers to their letter in the alphabet to reveal this crucial, all-important message. By the way, if you use this in some international crime ring or something like that, please don't forget to credit HAI in your trial. We don't condone criminality or anything, but publicity is publicity. Again, what's so fascinating about this technique is that, assuming the one-time pad is kept secret, is truly random, and is never used more than once, this is one of the only absolutely secure encryption techniques. Because the numbers are random, the sequence of 16 numbers can correspond to really any 8 letters. That's why it doesn't matter to countries that anyone can hear their number station, and why that technique of covert communication is so effective. Nobody has really ever been able to decrypt the messages of a number station, and no government has really officially talked about the stations. The only public acknowledgement of their use in espionage has come from a few court cases prosecuting spies. While the heyday of number stations was during the Cold War, plenty still broadcast today. While you can never know for sure which country is broadcasting a number station, Cuba, Russia, Poland, Ukraine, Egypt, China, South Korea, and North Korea are all believed to be the owners of active stations. Assuming you're in range, you can look up the frequencies and schedules of each of these stations and listen to the messages they're sending abroad to their spies. Now, I've got one important thing to say to you. 958396675664922385H2388161864897976487867517. But also, this. Now, if you want to learn more about encryption, especially on how it works electronically, Skillshare has a great class on that. 
This is one of over 25,000 great classes that Skillshare has on anything from how to solve a Rubik's Cube to how to make motion graphics like Kurzgesagt. With Skillshare, you can learn a new skill or build professional talent anytime and anywhere, especially thanks to their iOS and Android apps where you can download classes offline. Best of all, to get two free months of learning with Skillshare and help support the channel, just be one of the first 500 to sign up at skl.sh slash hai21.